No matter the bigness of your problem, your God will still make a way. Chill shall be far. Join us at the Palace of God Bible Church with your own Apostle Michael Ako. If they're not a matter for your family, you will break the yoke today. If they're not against money for your family, you can break the yoke today. If they're not go abroad for your family, you can break the yoke today. If they're not buy a car for your family, you can break the yoke today. If they don't build houses for your family, you go break the yoke today. If they have a carrot picking for your family, only go Venue, Old District of Pity I Road, opposite Link Up Village Station, Efro Warri Delta State, Nigeria. God bless you. Join us. Genesis chapter 18. From verse 7 to 10, and I will skip to verse 14. And Abraham ran into the head and fetched a calf, tender and good, and gave it unto a young man. And he hasted to dress it. And he took butter and milk, and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah the wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah the wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door which was behind him. Verse 14. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. Close the Bible and take your seat. I want to exhort you quickly on what I have titled anointing to break protocols. Anointing to break protocols. Let me start by saying the power that says you must get to 40 before you build your house, the power will release you in this very service. I said the power that has vowed that you must get to 35 before you marry. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, the power will release you in this very service. Yeah. The power that says you can never do well in life. Yeah. The power is about to release you in this very service. Yeah. The power that says you must follow protocol. Yeah. The power is about to release you this morning. Yeah. In the name that's above every other name, yeah. you will break protocol in this service. Yeah. You will break delay in this service. Amen. You will break their powers in this service. Amen. After this very service, yeah. no power can stop you. Amen. After this very service, yeah. no power can delay you. Amen. What took others 40 years? Yeah. After this very service, yeah. it will take you 4 years. Amen. You will break protocols today. Amen. You will break barriers today. Amen. I say you will break them today. Amen. No power can stop you. Amen. No demon can stop you. Amen. You say, man of God, why are you always talking with confidence? Yeah. It's because I've seen battles. Yeah. I've seen troubles. Yeah. I've touched the head of a serpent. Yeah. I've seen the sting of a scorpion. Yeah. I've entered the lion's den. Yeah. The God that delivered me, yeah. that God will fight your battle. Yeah. The God that took me out, yeah. that God will fight your battle. Yeah. When you get to the Red Sea, yeah. the Red Sea will divide. Yeah. When you go through the valley, Jehovah will go with you. When you get to the mountain, the mountain will become plain. When you get to the iron gates, it will open in its own accord. No power can stop you. No demon can stop you. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. Yeah. It's the same yesterday. Yeah. It's the same today. Yeah. It's the same forever. Yeah. If you believe it, jump up and shout a lot. Hey. Take 
Lucas 7. Et dans le cas du roi de Doumé, mais qu'à follow du roi de Doumé, mais qu'à follow du roi de Doumé, one of my daughters said, one of my daughters said, she said, Papa, don't look the time. She said, Papa, don't look the time. She said, Papa, throw away your face from the time. She said, Papa, throw your face at the time. She said, Papa, the way you do, I go bask and let the time. She said, Papa, the way you do, I go bask and let the time. She said, Papa, come. She said, Papa, come. Make I whisper something for your ear. No time for rotting mango. Make I whisper something for your ear. No time. For it, my my daughter, I get the way the service go go. I don't get the way the service go go. I go disappoint you. I go look the time. I go disappoint you. I go look the time. No time. No time. No time. No time. No time. They do me to prophesy, but no time. No time. They do me to sing and shout, no but no time. No time. No time. There was a time. There was a time. I was the leader of NTA. I was the leader of NTA. National Trackers Association. National Trackers Association. There was a time. There was a time. I was using Nokia 33. I was using Nokia 33. There was a time. There was a time. No money to buy Bangarai. No money to buy Bangarai. But now I'm a product of VOA. But now I'm a product of VOA. Vehicle Owners Association. Vegas owners association. It's a sign. It's a sign that everything, that everything is going to be alright. It's gonna be alright. Alright, 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 alright. All right. 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 Many of you have prayed and yet you have not gotten results. Many of you have sown seeds, yet there is no results. Many of you, no kind of fasting you've not done, but you have not gotten results. Am I talking to somebody from one night VG to another night VG and yet there is no result? You say, why am I talking like this? There are things prayer can't give. You need the raw anointing. Am I talking to somebody? If you read Genesis chapter 12 in verse 1, God said to Abraham, he said, get the out of their country to a place I will show you and Abraham left that place he was 75 years he had no child God said leave thy father's house to a place I will show you that means he changed location when he got to the place he had no child in verse 10 there was famine in the land the Bible said he left the place and traveled to Egypt that means means he changed again location. There was still no child. In Genesis chapter 17, if you read verse 5, he changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. Yet there was still no child. They did all they know. There was no child. But in chapter 18, the Bible says Abraham was sitting. By this time, it was 99 years. His wife 89 years. At this time, the woman has entered menopause. There is nothing that looks again like a testimony. While he was sitting, he saw three men appeared. They were passing and he ran to them. He said, if I have 
find favor in your sight, come and eat in my ass. He thought they were just angels. The Lord was among them. So it was the Lord and two angels that was passing. He was not aware. As soon as they were passing, he begged them to enter the house. He said, let me make food for you. Let me prepare for you. By this time, they were going to Sodom, to scatter Sodom. That means they were on a mission. But in the midst of their mission, a man said, come, let me give you something. Let me prepare food for you. And he said to his wife, prepare donut, prepare cake, bring out this. And they all prepare food. And the angel sat down with the Lord with them. Why they were eating? He said, by this time, next year, your wife said that we have a baby. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible said something in verse 12 that Sarah laughed. Why did she laugh? Because she has entered menopause. She has passed the age of producing children. Am I making sense to somebody? In verse 14, God asked a question. Is there anything to add for the Lord? He said, by this time, according to the time of life, your wife will carry a baby. As soon as the Lord said so, the anointing left his mouth. The anointing entered Sarah's womb and began to change things from menopause. It's entered menopause. Start. Am I making sense to somebody? All our vein began to move. Everything about her came back to life because the anointing entered her. And by that time, according to the time of life, one year later, she produced a bouncy baby boy. They call Isaac laughter. I carry the same anointing. Whatever they fired into your life, I break it in this service. By this time next year, you will carry your children. By this time next year, you will build your houses. By this time next year, you will travel abroad. By this time next year, you will buy a new car. By this time next year, you will get a better job. By this time next year, you will celebrate. By this time next year, you will see what will make you become famous. By this time next year, you will count testimonies. Count testimonies. Count testimonies. By by this time next year, from greatness to greatness, carry your testimony, carry your greatness. If you shut him in the world, I shall speak to you. Thank you, Jesus. Am I able to talk to anybody here? In verse 14, he asks a question. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto the according to the time of life. Specific. I'm not telling you to pray this time. I came to give you the anointing that prayer can give. I'm not making sense to somebody. A woman of 89 got pregnant at 89, gave birth at 90. That is a miracle. Am I making sense to somebody? Now, I believe, this is my own, I believe that normally it was supposed to be men no end. Men no end. But they have to change it because they saw somebody that broke the record. So from men no end, it became menopause. That means anything that pause can continue. Anything that has stopped in your life, it will continue to death. <laughs> There are family problems that prayer cannot solve alone. You need raw anointing. The anointing, it breaks protocols. 
it breaks, it breaks. It makes people to see you today poor and tomorrow rich. It breaks protocol. It makes you to come out of their evil expectations. One day, Papa went to minister in a church. While Papa was preaching, there was a woman, one old woman that was excited. She was sitting at the front. And Papa walked to the woman. He said, Mama, in since this time, you will become a landlady. The woman burst into laughter. He said, Pastor, I better come to that thing. Not be that kind of thing. One year. The next day, the woman did not sit at the front. She went to sit at the third row. While Papa was preaching, Papa went to the third row. He said, Mama, remaining five days, remaining five days, you will become a landlady. The third day, the woman went to the back to sit down. Papa traced out to the back. Mama, remaining four days for you to become a landlady. The woman said, which kind of trouble now? be this one. Which kind of trouble be this one? The fact that the mama refused to come to church. He said, no, make another day talk with it in us. And that day, Papa looked and didn't see mama. When they closed, he said, pastor, carry me go mama company. They carry Papa go mama company. Mama, they won't come and they do something. When you see Papa, he said, mama, remain it two days. You will become a landlady. He said, now you make me not call show, show. You then look for trouble. You then look for trouble. Now trouble, I like you, but the can't change the talk in big go. Even this ass I did, so not be my ass, oh. And they squat with somebody, oh. He said, Mama, remain it two days. This is the story. The last day to make it the sixth day. The church was on and they saw mama dancing from outside she was singing five songs at once to mama today oh, all i need is victory they don't know the song she was singing and they said mama what is make you the shout. Mama said oh, I'm not going to understand. Now because of the man of God I'm not come the last day. He said before I continue let me tell you why I didn't come to church. All my children left me. I am the one that sold my land to send my senior son abroad. He came and collected all his brothers. I was expecting them to start building the same house when a prophet told them that your mother is a witch. So they left their mother. Nobody was talking the gate of the mother. A woman that has children abroad was squatting with somebody here. She was not able to meet up. And she said that is how she has been living. Now what actually happened? When Papa said it, the anointing left Nigeria. We locate all the children. Mama, sit down. Mama, you finish what I start. Sit down. Make sure people wait back the see. Ikabata. As soon as the word left Nigeria, that was Mama's birthday. The senior son woke up. He had a dream that your mom is innocent. How come you are punishing your mom? And he woke up. He called the one that is in Germany, which is the girl. He said, I just had a dream just now that mama is innocent. He said, it was the same dream that woke me up. They told me mama is innocent. He called the one in Spain. That one said, I just had a dream. What dream? Went from the mouth of a prophet. And from nowhere, the senior will say, Mama, I'm very sorry for what we did. It was a prophet that told us that you are a witch. He said, I just bought a house this morning in US. The one in Germany said, I also just bought a house. Mama, get ready, you are coming. A tenant in Nigeria became a landlord abroad because of a prophecy. Carry your own prophecy. Carry your own testimony. Carry your own greatness. If you shut him, you're the one that just spoke to Protocol is the normal way. You have to go through it. This is the process we go through. You have to see Mr. A before seeing Mr. B. Mr. B will take you to Mr. C. Mr. C will take you to Mr. D before they will get to Mr. F. Uh, but when you carry anointing, you will walk straight to Mr. F. Am I talking to somebody? When anointing is upon you, what took others 40 years will take you four years. When anointing is upon you, when people are begging, you will be given. When anointing is
is upon you. We are COVID 19 is killing people. You will stand strong. When anointing is upon you, where people are dying, you will escape death. When you are carrying anointing, your foundation cannot stop you. When you carry anointing, your father's ass cannot kill you. When you carry anointing, you will get to where you are going to on time. I am here with that anointing yeah. to break the protocol in your father's house. Yeah. The power that said they cannot make it to your family. Yeah. Scatter! Yeah. Take your seat. You have to go through this procedure. You have to go like this. You have to worship God for the next one hour before you will fear God. You have to preach the word before there will be power. You, 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 you have to pray strong before you will feel him. But when anointing is upon you, the first can become the last. A lady came to meet me many years ago and it's her last chance to write this medical exam. I know when you write it, that last chance, if you, if you fail it, in West Africa, if you fail it, that will be the end. All your labor is gone. So they brought the person to me. When the person came, the person said, Sir, I have done all my best. I have done that. I said, No. It is true you have prayed. One thing you have not done is to involve the anointed. It was my first time to see the person. They brought the person. I said, It's to involve the anointed. I said, Go. You will pass this time. He says, sir, I, he says, I don't understand. Just like that. Give me better prayer. Put me for fasting. I said, have you not been fasting since? He said, yes. I said, go. It's anointing that wants to walk this time. She was grumbling. I pray, I know who she answered. I don't want to go to my not prayer. I said, you want my faith? I said, go. I sense in my spirit. He said, call her back. Provoke her the more. I said, my, come. I said, the Lord, I should tell you, you will not write, but you will pass. I said, Jesus! <laughs> he told the person that brought her, he said, the man not serious. <laughs> now, today, I will not say not serious. <laughs> he didn't even laugh, they tell me. When he was going, I said, you will not write! He said, I beg her, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I write, I not pass. <laughs> he never said, you don't join my family, they fight me. The woman began to read. It was her last chance. I don't know if you know she would go extra mile. She did all she was supposed to do. And that day came. She entered the hall. When she was sitting there, to cut a long story short, this question this time, it was as if they had twisted the questions. She did not, answer, she did not know anyone. She looked at number one. She don't know it. She looked at number two. Look at number three. He said, that God go punish the prophet. <laughs> I come upon the prophet. I see the see they remember one before. I don't even remember. And I read. And he said, if I not read, I go pass. And she began to tremble. While she was trembling, somehow everywhere went blank. She fell and she fainted. They carried her straight to the world and they put drip on her to bring her back from coma and the exam ended where she was crying that this is the end of her career. She noticed that somebody entered the place to look at her. I said, how are you? And he remember it's one of the invigilators. He said, how are you doing now? He said, so I've lost all. I've lost all. He said, don't worry. When they were rushing you out, a voice told me to write for you. So I wrote for you. Among all that wrote, there were only two in West Africa that passed that exam. It was the anointing that went before her. After this very service, where you could not enter, yeah. and might you enter fire? Yeah. <laughs> Come and see testimony day. Come and see the fat envelope. 
When she, he says, sir, I don't believe when you talk at that time. Oh. He says, sir, forgive me. Forgive me. It's not normal. If you don't read, you will fail. Even the Bible says, study to show thyself approved. But this time I said, don't study. Am I breaking the rules? No, ma. When anointing is working, the first can become the last. After today, get ready to overtake somebody. Get ready to overtake somebody. Anointing to break protocols. I don't want to go too deep. The reason I don't want to go too deep is because when the anointing is moving, everything is suspended. When the anointing is moving, question that you want to ask will shut up. Because the answer is already available. Yes, Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Get me out of the father's house. He left foundation. To a place I will show you a new location. He left there to a place. He changed another location. God said, change your name. He changed his identity. Yes. There was no testimony. But when the anointing came, anointing is the wave of power. Hala power. Ah. Anointing is like Amatan. In dry season, you feel it, you touch it. It moves around you, and yet you cannot cage it. <laughs> anointing. Are they talk to anybody here now? Yes, do you know what the anointing can do? It entered a woman that was no longer seeing her messes. It's strange, oh. Abi? No, 89. Woman, go to the shake now. Eh? Go to the shake. Go to the shake. Go weak. Go weak like Dodo. Weak. Abi? But at 89, a word entered her. And the word changed everything. It's only one word you need that will change your life. Yeah. That word will enter you today. Yeah. Amen. Bring verse 6 for me. Genesis 18. And Abraham entered into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine, fine words. Who is a Dwan? Who is a Dwan? At 89, Sarah still a cook for us. What did I talk? At 89, Sarah still gets strength. How did I manage to know she was the one that cooked it? Look at it. And make cakes upon the earth. Go to verse 7. And Abraham ran into the head and fetched a calf, tender and good, and gave it unto a young man. This one, he couldn't do that one. He gave it to who? A young man. When they finished it, they brought it to the wife. Sarah was a cook at 90. Angels were going to burn down Sodom and Gomorrah. But when they got to the place where Sarah was, when Sarah finished cooking, angels carried toothpick. That word, Abi, now Abraham, now get her now. Abi. Say, Abi, your wife, they cook. Oh. It's not been here with a come before, but this, ah, I like, I like, I like, I like that when you put for this pepper soup. You just make and get sense. Eh? Say, so, your wife, they cook like this. I like, I like these spices. See the kind of spices so your wife, they do. I like this one when you put, ah, your wife, they, why they were talking? Say, by this time, if Sarah at the age of 90 was still cooking, if you did this house and you know they cook for your husband, not trouble. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Sir, madam, you know Audrey Sarah. At 90, she was still cooking. Sarah cook for three men. We not know. <laughs> three men. They eat if the food not sweet. You tell them about that kind of thing. 
The person say, hey, your food short, full lamb. Oh. <laughs> that guy was saying, oh, you know, no self. Now you go do wicked, take cook the food. Pepper too much, but she settled down. He said, the kind of food that they cook for my husband, my cooker. If you did this house as a woman, you don't cook for your husband. Eh? Repent today. What does somebody do today? I beg, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I beg, I beg, I beg. I'm busy. Can't you enter the kitchen? Come. You are breaking protocol. It's not a good one. If at 90, a woman cooked for the husband, I beg, I tell you, that's his money, I go work. That's his money, but they pay me. This is what they do. They try for this house. Then they try rich well food, they cook up. What does somebody do? Cook up. If you notice, you go busy all through the day. Cook the food, die. Make and that beg your husband, say, Oh, no, you know, I'm not going to come to uh, this time. Oh, eh? I beg, your food already ready. He go understand. Maybe you go there for the hello. I knock off him, meet up. Oh, I think you know you're going there for there. Eh? Take only two couple. You know, so they eat well, well, though. No? <laughs> not be this church oh. you must learn how to respect the man food time you should come that is one of the parts how many of them they cook when I cook finish when I was about to eat and they sit down the era for where the way you feel they throw away the food you throw away the food I said that you cook for I better take your food <laughs> If you learn all these things, marriage go fine. And they tell you secret way make marriage the sweet. I mean, they tell you truth. Your husband won't just surprise you only one day. Only one day, he just cook. He just say, no, no, this is my wife. Man, just surprise her today. Just do stew before you come. As you test the stew, say, ah, you they cook like this. Now they make me they suffer for this ass. I don't know if I say not good. It's not good. The man could go swell one. It pain no more. It pain no more to swell one. My smile, not talk. Then your foundation can remind that after seven days. Only you know, say I'm busy today. Eh? I think where you did, you say they go and say I beg, I beg. Buy tomatoes. That kind of stew where you cook last week. <laughs> Do them again. I love you. Bye bye. <laughs> I beg, if you be part of this ass, it's not good. It's not worthy. It's not good. The day you walk out and tell us, your husband cook. Thank God. Not tell him again, make it do it. Man, can just get up? He won't surprise you. Abby? Yes. One of the pride of a woman is cooking. Woman should be happy when they call her cook, cook. Not be like that. Cook! How many of you here, women, can cook a goosey soup properly? Don't raise up your hand. Don't raise up your hand, because I don't say. <laughs> I don't say the one way they push person, no. <laughs> no, not me. I go the way they push person on the talk show. <laughs> I'm not going to say guess I'm a goosey when you eat at two times you go push. No, not me that one. I talk about the real goosey. If you can cook a goose, how many of you can also cook a bottle of soup? Before, before. If, you, if I see me can run something now, those who shout, hey, first, they don't have to cook. All the champions, they can just look in the laugh. How many of you? And this is a big thing. If you raise up your hand, I mean, I mean, now few people. How many of you sabi cook or go soup? If you be, if you know, so you be Christian, yeah, you be really Christian. You know they lie. You sabi cook or go soup? Stand up. 
Good. Sit down. To know how to cook an one or to look like a one another. A one and one of the other, it look easy. Sabi cooker, sabi cooker. What is the cooker last? Your war is carrying on day, it's not a tick. Your, your war is stash not over, it's not a tick. You be expert, you don't even put stash till they miss your banga soup. Stash. I'm not finished women, they do. Oh, you don't see some banga soup, they put stash. Oh, that they do. Huh? Eh? Banga sume e pustash. Wait oh, wait oh. Sit down, sit down. And they say they sabi cook. But now they lie. You they lie. So you don't know say it get banga sume e pustash. Oh, you don't know. I tell you, say you, I say you they cook. What do you they cook? And they tell you to them now if you don't know. When you taste that banga soup. They don't, not be saying they put a set the stars go over. Not be the way they put up. You go, you go, one spoon come. You they cook. You they cook. You never shop or go where they use okra do before. Mama, I talk this one. Come, nobody for here does it. Said they use a tech cook before. You don't say once. Sit there. One, two, three. Sir, you like that? You not food. You not food. You not food. You don't see food. No, in your self, you say the way they will cook for your ass. You know they, eh? they, 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 they will go, they put the, they put, they put the okra, they can't put beans in China. <laughs> in Jesus' name, the ogwo and beans, we cook it here. They call it ogwo sha. We have it here. Uh, I think that here now. The combination. The combination. I like that one. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. <laughs> the woman, which age was she? 89, she was cooking. And do you know the most funny part? They were very worthy. Money was everywhere. Is it correct? But this woman never gave a place for people to cook for the husband. Ma, I beg you. You have met your husband to, do, to give you something for her. He has done that. You do something for me. When last did you put water on the fire and you brought small basin and tell your husband to put his two his, his feet there, and you start using razor blade to scrape the leg. You will see the way the man will be like king that day. All the story has not told you before. From that place, he will be telling you. As I talk now, so some of them are wicked. Though. Water will not hurt now. I talk about you. You won't burn a leg. You'll put hot water. Say, put your leg. Are you now? If I touch the water, you say, yeah. 
Oh, not, not. You know what they do? You just, you just, you hurt you, but you not. As the man puts his legs, ah, say that this small water now they shout for. When you are cutting your husband's fingernails, eh, when you are happy, you will not cut it wrongly. But they cut, I just remember what he tell you two days ago. Say, I'll cut it today. Never say anything. The moment you are, ah, yeah. Say, no mistake, no mistake. It's not God, they punish you for the one you do me two days ago. I cannot be fooled with you. Pray for your husband. Pray. Pray. Pray for your husband. How many of you women here have nine guns at home? No, you have boo boo. It's boo boo you have. What you are looking for, you will see it. Your, your husband comes out in the morning, the next thing he sees, he's seeing young girls wearing mini skirts, seeing young girls coming at where, and you, because you have possessed your possession, if only powder, you'll be putting at home. Be putting it, or be putting it. Be put, don't wise. Don't wise. Look good. Look good. Do your hair. Do your hair before it comes back. Sometimes use the money to buy coke. When he wants to eat, serve the coke for tumbler, maybe like wine, and not be wine. Sit down, here down. I was not dead today. Massage your husband's head. Let the head come down for what he see when they come. Massage your head. Ma, if the man is massaged, you get back to blow. Woman, make her help us. Make the home sweet. I make it sweet, pass so. I beg. I know the whole owner responsible. But they tell us, if he help us, to stand well. Clap for Jesus. Stand up, everybody. We bless your name. How many of you believe that something will happen to you today? Ah. The first prayer we will pray. The anointing that puts baby in the womb of Sarah arranged my life. Arranged what? Say, my father, my father. As I pray the name of Jesus, the anointing that put baby in Sarah's womb corrects my life. Let that anointing correct my life. Open your mouth, turn into prayer. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father. The anointing of God that put one on the cell, that put shine in the cellar's womb. Let that anointing correct my life. Let that anointing correct my life. Let that anointing arrange my life. In Kopara, my father. The anointing that put shine in the Woman. Oh God, let that anointing correct my life. Let that anointing arrange my life. In regular day, paragada da day, esheragada da 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 da, ikwashada ba da 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 da, iyebreketo, 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 asheragada da 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 da, iyabagada iyebreketo da 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 da, by your power, oh God, iyabashada ba da 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 da. Father, the anointing that puts shine in Sarah's womb. Let that anointing in Jesus mighty name the next prayer the anointing that will scatter my family foundation enter me today as I pray begin to break the foundations say my father my father say my father my father the anointing that will break my family foundation as I pray in the name of Jesus enter me today scatter
scatter the foundation. Open your mouth, turn it to prayer. Lake ta 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 ta, lake wa la ga da ga da ga da ga da ga da. Eleke do shala da da. Eleke do shala da 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 Rusada, the Almighty Lord, that will break my family foundation. In Jesus' mighty name, hey. you will pray. Whatever that is making the anointing not to work for me, let it scatter. You come to church, you will see first time and sometimes getting their testimonies. Some of you, it's after three times you get your testimonies. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? Yes, the anointing. What is that thing that is making me not to enjoy the anointing? Say, my father, my father. Say, whatever that is making me not to eat from the anointing. That thing that is making the anointing not to work for me. As I pray in the name of Jesus, scatter! Jesus mighty name. You are going to pray. Any power that has vowed that I will not end well this year, let the power die from my life. Say, my father, my father. Any power that has vowed that I will not end well this year, as I pray in the name of Jesus, power down. Open your mouth, turn it to prayer. Stretch your hands towards me. Kata Tabata. Lord, by your spirit, after today, the anointing will begin to bring testimony to death. Amen. Are you here with the oil? Did you come with the oil? Okay, raise it up. If you don't have, please just smile and say, please give me little. Uh, just very little, very little. Just turn small, very small. Kabatata, li krokotata zi. If you are you having your own, stretch it. If you don't have, just stretch your hands. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Lord, by your spirit, I pray for them. The Bible says, the yoke shall be broken because of the anointing. It was the spoken word of God that entered the womb of Sarah and changed everything about her. Lord, by your power, I pray as this oil touches their forehead, every sickness, every disgrace, spirit of poverty, spirit of untimely death, spirit of setback, spirit of limitation, they will break in the name of Jesus. By the spirit of God, every attack on you is broken today. 
as this oil will touch you, may the God of palace begin to scatter what the enemies have planted in your life. <laughs> By the Spirit of God, in the name that is above every other name, every attack on you has scattered in the name of Jesus. <laughs> As you use the oil on yourself, everything you say, may it come to pass. Amen. Every positive thing you will say, will come to pass. Amen. May this oil destroy barrenness. Amen. May this oil destroy poverty. Amen. May this oil destroy disgrace. Amen. May this oil destroy sorrow. Amen. May this oil destroy untimely death. Amen. May this eye carry you from back seat to front seat. Amen. May this eye turn you to celebrity. Amen. If you shout, Amen, carry that esteem on. Viewers all over the world, this empty will work for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you use it, it will work for you. Amen. Use it to touch your hand. Have you done that? Now place it on your forehead. For one minute, you will speak into your life. You know what you want the anointing to do for you. You will speak to your life. Kidney problem disappear. Heart problem disappear. Sickness disappear. High blood pressure disappear. Hepatitis B disappear. Disappear. Lord, I touch my forehead. Every sickness disappear. May this anointing break the yoke. This anointing break the yoke. This anointing scatter the yoke. This anointing carry me from back seat to front seat. I will not fail. I will not see shame. The day of trouble, anointing fight for me. The day of disgrace, anointing fight for me. In the name of Jesus, by the Spirit of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Rekabate Katazi. Le crocota tata, le coto gade gade, le coto kazi gade gade, le coca tata ba, le kada gazi gade 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 gade, le coco taka taba ta, le coto tata kata zi, zi koto koba, zi koto koba. Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you. We break in pieces every yoke. We scatter the powers of darkness. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Still put your hand on your forehead. Galatians 6, 17, from henceforth, let no man trouble you. You bear your body the mark of Christ. Lord Jesus, sickness will be far from them. Bad news will be far from your family. What you have lost in the past, this remaining six months, take them back! In the name of Jesus! Your head is a good head. Amen. Favor will follow you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Let up one flow in this place. Let your healing come in this place. I call for souls and words in this place. Let your presence show in this place. Oh yeah, I'm not for long.
Thank you, Jesus. That lady that is going with that child that wear yellow cap, come with that baby. We magnify. We magnify. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We glorify. We glorify. We glorify your holy name. We glorify. Do you know why I called you? No, Papa. I saw people gathered around your house. And I see that they were telling you to take art. And I saw that you were crying because of this, your baby. Jesus. Can I explain it? Yes, Papa. Can I explain it now? Yes, sir. I entered the spirit and I saw that they tied this, your baby's neck. Neck. And I saw that they tied the neck of the baby and they are trying to shock the baby. Ah. And for some days now, Jesus. your baby. Papa, very true. Every night, suppose how many, almost how many nights, he will just wake up and will see space coming out from me. He will be shocking at night. Clap for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Jesus. I saw it. Jesus. I canceled the debt. Amen. I canceled the debt. Amen. The Lord, I should tell you. The person that wants to kill your child, the person die in the place of your child. I cut the rope. I cut the rope. I cut the rope. Because of this anointing service, your son is free. Clap for Jesus. Stand up, my daughter. Stand up. Come. I saw heaven. They were laughing. And I asked the Lord, why, why are they laughing? He said, my daughter don't know what I saved her from. Can I explain? Yes, sir. Can I explain? Yes, sir. Instead of you to go to work, you didn't go to work. Yes, sir. What you were expecting was not what you saw. Yes, sir. No. The Lord told me something now that not because it was not supposed to be so. He said, if you have gone before now, they would have brought you as a coronavirus patient. Yes. So, he has stopped it before now. Go and carry your work. <laughs> Some things that happen, happen for your good. Why she was that the Lord said the reason I didn't allow her to go again was because there was this thing that they fired. They would have brought her as a coronavirus patient. He said, my son, that was what I saw. Now that the atmosphere is clear, go, they will call you. What do you do? Pastor, sir. Eh? Pastor, sir. You're a pastor? Yes, sir. Run that way. <laughs> you don't marry? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You don't marry? Yes, sir. Run again. so well, but in the midst of his race, he was still in his father's cage. The reason I said should run, I thought when he run, he will escape from the cage. I saw that he was running inside the cage. Can I break it? Yes, sir. Can I break it? Yes, sir. I'm seeing you inside the cage. Can I explain? Yes, sir. I see you running inside the cage. Unless I should break the cage for you. The case speaks of wandering. You are wandering. You are wandering. You are just running, running with that testimony. But if you allow me, I can break it. You are very correct, sir. I left. I have a bakery at Ogara. The bakery closed down. I left my house, left everything. That's why I'm here, sir. You want to run out of your of the cage. 
I think he ran well just now. But he was running inside the cage. Look at what he said. You have a what? A bread bakery. You have a bread bakery. The best in Ethiopia West. You have it that time? Yes, sir. And you are doing well? Doing well, but I was not seeing anything out of it. It was running. Trading. Running inside the cage. Owing. You said? I was doing the business very well, but no money. Nothing to show. Still, still owing, entering into debt and credit. And that one is gone now. You now enter ministry. Yes, sir. You are outside ministry, not inside ministry. When a man is inside the cage, anything he do will not prosper. When a man is inside the cage, he will be celebrated. He will not eat from his celebration. That's what he's suffering from. The Lord said, tell him to run. I didn't know why I said so. But while I was running, I saw him running inside the cage. So all these many rays he took just now, all happened here in the cage. If this man go anywhere, if he travel U.S. now, he will suffer. If this man go to Canada now, he will suffer. Because there were nine people who sat down to arrange his failure in the family. As I'm talking to you now, this man is putting his best. No prayer you have not prayed. No prayer you have not prayed. No prayer, sir. You have prayed, Fasting. prayed, prayed. And yet, the race you ran just now, you are still in a cage. What you need is not prayer. You need the anointing. <laughs> anointing is what makes you look stupid in the midst of your stupidity. People are still giving you something. In the midst of your fooling yourself, glow is still telling you to come. They want to sign you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I turned in the spirit and I saw this man. I saw everything destroyed. I saw everything scattered. And I asked the Lord, what are you showing? He said, pray. Pray for him. I want to pray for you. This is the end of the battle. Amen. This is the end of the battle. Amen. Let me tell you where they are holding your case. They are holding your case in a big, in a big Iroko tree. Big Iroko tree. Big Iroko tree. And that tree, I see it connected to a foundation of shrine. Foundation of shrine. And I asked, why are you showing me? He said, he is carrying something. But what they have done in the family, have swallowed what he carried. As I break the cage, any cage holding you, the cage will scatter. <laughs> Lift your hand up. You will go back and ministry will, will work again. Amen. Come. I break the yoke. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, by your spirit, that attack, destroy. Amen. Destroy. Amen. If you shut him at your own, destroy. Amen. I repeat it. If you shut him at your own, destroy. Amen. You have gone everywhere for solution. You are putting your best to see that this thing you are doing work. But you find that the more you fast, the more you see attack. The more you fast, the more you see problem. It would have been better you never fasted than to fast. Because if you don't fast, you will not have that bad dream. But as soon as you start fasting, you will start seeing that they are pursuing you. They are fighting you. Is it very correct? Yes, I turn in the spirit and I saw that this man is is called but nine people they are sitting on top of his calling I carry something yeah. that can scatter something yeah. I carry something yeah. that can uproot something yeah. any power on you yeah. power down fresh fresh take a seat in case now your first time to see me, I know they take a goffy to see. If I want to see, that's just the talk. Hey, I go talk, I go talk, I 
talk. I won't 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 talk. Make a talk. I like to talk. I go talk. I go talk. I go talk. I won't 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 talk. I go talk. That young man that's come, where's your wife? Where's your wife? Come. I go talk. 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 I see your wife complaining. Your wife. Yes. I see your wife complaining. Yes. About eh? Yes. Is it correct? Yes. Eh? About her stomach. She's coming about her tummy. Yes. Clap for Jesus. I want to break altar. Can I do that? Yes, sir. I see katata. I see an altar. An altar that they used to kick goat for. Goat. Yes. Your father. Yes. Goat. Goat yes. for. Yes. Eh? Yes. That altar is coming to carry your wife as goat. Have you talked to you? Eh? Yes. Can I talk to you? Yes. Eh? She has been complaining. Strongly, yes. is it correct? Yes. And if I don't pray for you, your wife will die with what I see. I saw the power looking for, for, for a goat, and I told and the power said, Who gave him the audacity? Somebody will think we have scattered his life. He's not thinking like a man, he has broken and is trying to make himself relevant. And they say, We will go for the woman and we will kill the woman. This is not for my side. I'm talking about your altar. I want to destroy the altar. I want to. Somebody had a dream that somebody died. Who is that? You, you had a dream yes. that the wife died. I go talk. 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 God, this God is too big. So you had a dream. That was when I had the dream. That's when you had a dream yes. that she died. Yes. No, your brother went to marry. They thought they've useless his life. But they now saw that his life is now becoming straight. Can I be free with you? Be a person that they thought that he is now wayward. From nowhere, he's becoming responsible. That's what people are now saying. Eh? Yes, Come. Instead of your wife to die, you should go die. Amen. And the power was an amigo die, not that person. Anybody was an amigo die, not that person. I go 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 die. Come, touch the altar. Altar. 
Altar, they use goats to, to, to appease. Altar. The altar man said, No. I'm the one that has made them like this. But this one wants to break out. Let me kill the woman. But today, when you get home, go and buy cold drink. Not the one the high person, you know. Yes, sir. Buy cold drink. Yes, sir. Buy motor Guinness or Pepsi or Coke. Drink for your body. Because the death is cancelled. I want to say now it's very, it's very strange. You had a dream that the dream you were inside a vehicle and the vehicle now changed to a casket. If you are here, let me see. The vehicle now changed to a casket. I saw it. You were, you saw yourself in a dream. You are inside the vehicle that was moving from nowhere. The vehicle changed to a casket. Where are you? It not changed to a casket. Is it you? Eh? Clap for Jesus. You saw it? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. The vehicle turned to a casket. Yes, sir. Clap for Jesus. I was carrying the casket on my head. Huh? I was carrying the casket on my head. You know? Okay. The I was inside the vehicle. Yes. And it turned into a casket, so I was not carrying it on my head. I was carrying the casket, so I was not carrying it on my head. On the quarry. I'm a cool, 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 I had it. He said, son, if you don't pray for that person, they're about to cry. Can I tell you something? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You, you yourself, yes, eh? you were not fine before. Yes, sir. Yes, you were not fine before. Yes, sir. If it's a lie, say it's a lie. You. No, I was not fine. I was, I was sick. You were sick? Yes. Eh? I was having a severe headache. For some time? Yes, sir. For some time? Yes, sir. And after a while, that thing now start going down. Yes, start sir. going down. Yes, sir. And when it start going down, you notice your baby. Yes. This is your baby. Start behaving funny. Yes, sir. Is it correct? Yes, sir. When you were in the vehicle, it was you that was in the casket. But some our prayer went ahead and they were not able to kill you. So they shifted the thing to your baby. That was why you now see that you were not the one carrying the casket. They say, if we cannot kill the woman, we will kill the baby. But as I'm talking to you now, as I'm talking, can I be free with you? Yes, can I be free with you? Yes, sir. Let me be free with you. Two days ago, eh, your baby was sleeping, sleeping at night. And from where he slept, he started turning. He that cried. was what you, eh? He cried seriously. That night. Yes, sir. That very night. Yes, sir. And I asked the Lord why. The Lord said, at that time, the enemies have come. They came to carry the child. But God told me that because he saved the mother, he will also save the child. Yeah. Hear me? The casket. I break the casket. Yeah. I break the casket. Yeah. Mother and baby, you are free from the casket. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any power holding your cave. Any power holding your cave. Any power holding your cave. Any power holding your cave.
holy again. I did power holy again. No matter the bigness of your problem, your God will still make a way. She shall be far. Join us at the Palace of God by the Church with your own Apostle Michael Apo. If they're not a matter for your family, you will break the yoke today. If they're not a get money for your family, you go break the yoke today. If they're not a go abroad for your family, you go break the yoke today. If they're not a buy car for your family, you go break the yoke today. If they have a build houses for your family, you go break the yoke today. If they have a garden picking for your family, only go fast. Delhi, Old District, off PT Road, opposite Link Up Philly Station, Efro Warri Delta State, Nigeria. God bless you. Join us.